party, folks. You probably can't see me, but today is October 7th. It's the CBKA tournament. My second year fishing it. Uh, got the PA. You can't see anything I know. Got the PA uh, that I'm going to be fishing on. And then we got the outback. And there's a 30 foot Grady. There's the Hargrave. And there's the Viking. They're all here. Um, but it's 6 o'clock. Uh, I'm leaving at 6.30, lines in at 7, and uh, uh, hopefully I'll get in some fish today. Uh, this one's been okay, and uh, hopefully I can uh, capitalize on this day and win some divisions, hopefully. My dad is having router problems right now, so um, I'm going to go out at 6.48. I'm going to head to the bridge first and uh, try live lining. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna meet me out here. I hope he can get it fixed, because it would be a bummer if it, uh, cost him the tournament. But, I'm just gonna push on and, uh, see what I can do. But he's, like, not that far behind me. He's just coming out now. God, I smell the fish. Okay, so I caught this spot last night. So, and I don't, I didn't bring a minnow bucket. So, that means I'm gonna have to use him now, so. I open my bag up. I haven't live line in quite some time. But I just got my circle hook, my leader, and my sinker slide. So let's grab this little friend. I just hook him right through the nose, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, get rid of all this water and the Ziploc. Don't need that anymore. And uh, yeah, this guy's been with me since last night. So hopefully he will produce me a big striper. See if I can get her turned around here. I'm gonna go ahead and fish this the north bridge now, and then I'll see what uh, later on brings me. That didn't take long. I already snagged and lost my whole live line rig and my spot within 30 seconds of uh, 30 seconds of uh, putting it on. So that's always a good start to my day. But I guess I'm going to start trolling and or casting now. I think that seems like a plan. I might jig a little bit just for the sake of I want to let my dad get out here. Or get to me. He's already out here. Just get to me. And, uh, yeah. See if I can put one in the boat. 8 o'clock. There's been some fish caught. Stripers, bluefish, nothing too big. My radio isn't uh, receiving. So that's always good. And uh, I'm in a, all my lines are up. I jigged the pipe. This is a lure I tried out. It's just a Senko on a jig head. It, the action's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna fish out on the pilings, but I'm heading out to the about 45 foot edge. Goes from 20 to 40, pretty steep. And uh, the current's moving now, incoming tide. So uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything on this edge. I've done it. I caught a fish. Look at that. Yeah, man. That's the winner right there. Ooh. It's actually not a bad one. Uh, gotta figure out how to use this app. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Ooh, eight inches. Let's see. bigger up in here. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Not huge, but fair. Time is 9.59. So uh, almost 10 o'clock. And uh, went back to trolling. Spent about half hour, 45 minutes jigging pilings. Caught three perch, all about nine inches. That put me in about 21st place. Uh, First place is like a 22 inch striper, a 15 inch bluefish, 
and he better go catch himself a perch. Um, but I'm just still grinding it out. I'm trolling now. Uh, I really would like uh, if if I could catch the big striper I did a couple of weeks ago, that would propel me to first, like no doubt. That was a really good fish. So I hope I can find another one of them, and uh, hopefully something will change. Hopefully something will happen. There goes the tournament. I'm done. Drive just broke. Uh, the plastic just broke. I went to pedal. So, that's it. That's a wrap. 10-11. Uh, that's all. I gotta find a way to get in now. My dad's drive in the Outback actually somehow magically fit into my, into this one. So, uh, He's paddling in to get the drive for my sport, and I'm gonna keep fishing. And I just, I had a fish come up, I guess, because the tail's gone, and uh, try to bite at my umbrella rig. So I need to climb back there and uh, re rig that and see if I can put a fish in the boat. Over, I, I just want a 20, I just want a 30 incher. Solid 30 incher would be lovely. Ugh. Fun, fun, fun. I think I know what I have. There's a plastic bag back there. And I think that's what I have. If not, I'll be happy because it feels big. But it is not fighting. So that means, whoa. That means that it is probably that plastic. I even thought to myself, man, I hope I don't hook that. But let's treat it like it's a fish. Oh, there he is. It's a nice one. Oh, boy. Yeah, look. Oh, it came off right at the boat. Shucks. Man, I thought that was a fish. I hooked up with one for like a split second. It grabbed my uh, center bait. But it didn't stick. So... I'm gonna reset and uh, try it again. Hope it, uh, hope I'll get him next time. It felt like a decent fish, but then again, it was only on for like two seconds, so can't really judge. But I just love, I, I need a fish right now to make up for all this. I think it's time for an update. 1141, trolled south, nothing. Now I'm gonna go up here again and uh, see if I can uh, catch a rockfish. I'm going to head to the pipe, troll around there, jig, come back to the bridge, jig here, perch fish, and troll around some more. Uh, my dad hasn't been doing much. It's just been slow. There's a few fish being caught. Just, uh, just, they're not, they're not, it's not constant. Uh, but I just hope I catch something soon. Okay. These updates are probably getting pretty old, but the time is, hold up, 1.02. So I'm fishing until about 2.15 at the latest. I'm gonna start heading back. I'm gonna fish shallow, so I'm switching out all my heavier uh, heavier uh, rigs, the inline weights to uh, the appro like appropriate one and two ounce instead of two and four ounce. So I'm gonna go troll in shallow and see what I can get in there. Maybe I can get just take a nice perch off the airstrip or something. So, I don't know. Don't know. Well. Who would have thought that that nine and one fourth inch perch would lead me to this? Well, it did. Um, that for some crazy reason that none of the other juniors caught anything and uh, they hit me first. That's good. So um, I got this uh, certificate. But first, before I go over some of my other prizes, let's fix this angle. There we go. I want to just go over my day. So I got up around six, six o'clock. Um, um, my vision was leave at 6.30, get out, lines in at 7, so, uh, give me a half hour to get out to where I want to be. Uh, left around 6.40, got out around 7. I caught a spot prior, um, the night before. So I live fired him, like, 30 seconds into the drop, I get snagged, popped it off. So I'm like, okay, I jigged a little bit, trolled a little bit, trolled all morning, nothing. Oh, and then my dad's rudder on the outback was a little uh, screwy so he went back to fix it I kept fishing um, and then he came he comes back out and uh, we jig a little bit troll a little bit 
and by this time it's around 8.45, 9.15, somewhere in that range. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna uh, drop down for some perks because I want to get on the board. So, drop down, like 30 seconds in, I don't think I was filming, I don't know. Uh, I think I think I was. But, I drop down, boom, uh, perch. Drop down again, boom, another perch. Then I slowed down, I fish for perch for about, and fish for perch slash jig for about 45 minutes, and, uh, produced three perch. And then, um, I trolled, I kept trolling, uh, then, uh, I bring up my umbrella rig, and, uh, the tail of the, um, lure is bit off, so, that's bluefish. So, 0 for 1 on bluefish. Um, I keep trolling, uh, going under the bridge, actually, and then, so, and then my lines start drifting back, so I go to pedal hard, and I hear, and I feel like there's no resistance, so, I pick up my drive, the, hang on. I don't know how I managed to do this, but the whole, uh, looks like the whole rod is gone, and the two plastic thingies here broke. So here's my drive. Um, but luckily, I didn't know it worked, but my dad's Outback drive fit into my PA, so he gave me his Mirage drive, took this one back, paddled back, grabbed the Mirage drive from my Sport, which is also here, came back out and kept fishing. Fished for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I got one bite on the umbrella rig. Uh, by the time I could say there he is and started cranking, fish was off. So, um, if I would have capitalized on all the bites I had, I would have gotten the slam. But, you know, I didn't. So, um, then we came back in. My dad, uh, came back in. He was fishing in the marina for perch. And, uh, catching, catching a decent amount of perch. Not big, but catching perch. And, uh, I caught a few. Then we came in and went to the awards banquet. Uh, and I came back. My parents had something to do tonight, so I'm all alone cleaning up. Uh, and I have some projects to do on the boat. And I might be doing a catch and cook video with a perch, so, uh, look out for that. But, um, just the stuff I won. Uh, well, first, with the youth prize, last year I won some, like, a $100 camp thing. But this year I won a Bass Pro Offshore Angler Frigate combo. Uh, retails for 100 bucks, so it seems like seems nice. I don't mind say the pen, uh, spin, not spin fishers. I guess spin fishers and battles. Uh, I like the colors, 7 foot, uh, I think it's uh, medium heavy. Medium light, extra fast action. So 7 foot, extra fast, medium light. It's a perfect setup for jigging the BKDs. It's easy to twitch. That's what I was struggling with today with the solstices. They're just so awkward. But this is nice and light. I can do uh, easy twitches. And then they also are doing raffles. So I spent 20 bucks and bought 5 raffle tickets. And with that, I think I got the best prize there. Uh, Daiwa BG2000 spinning wheel. Um, it reminds me of a pen battle as well, but this is a, uh, I don't know what they retail for, um, I'll put that in the description below, uh, but it's, it's a, it seems like a nice reel, uh, size 2000, um, perfect for drop shots and wacky worms, so I'm going to put this on, uh, I'm going to go buy, because my drop shot rod is not ideal, it's too heavy, uh, just, I'm just making buy with it for the summer, but I'm going to go buy, uh, probably a Daiwa rod for it, and, uh, Spool up 10 pound braid, 8 pound braid probably, and uh, it's gonna be a killer drop shot rod. Per and one down here, a perch rod. And then, uh, one of the sponsors came up to me and asked if I wanted some of these, so I said, Of course, I do. Um, these are balloon fish. I, I think they have some affiliation with black to fish, don't quote me on that. But, uh, biodegradable balloons, um, you can use them for live lining, shark fishing, uh, dangling broccoli, I don't know, but uh. I think I had a decent tournament. Uh, I won, so uh, that's always good. And uh, now I gotta finish cleaning up because uh, I got all by myself doing it. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I haven't even uploaded the Nantucket video yet, and it's been like two months, two and a half months. I've been swamped with score, but that's a different video. But, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more. And uh, I'm going to be hoping to get a little bit more active on the YouTube scene uh, as uh, I get less busier with all the boats because they go south. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next production.